Does it feel better? Okay, so here's the question. This is a real question. Because you have an anger uh, outburst occasionally. Do you not feel better after a good, solid, angry outburst? Do you feel better or worse? Yeah, generally worse. Oh, you really do? Well, I just destroyed a TV and ripped my oven out of the wall. I feel pretty shitty about that. When you're in the midst of doing it, though, does it feel good? Not really. Kind of hurts. Feel like I'm having oh. a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really break a TV? Yeah. Put my fist through it. You put your fist through a TV? Yep. Did it really go through the like it didn't? No, like, it, didn't, it, didn't come, it didn't come anymore. out like the back all cartoon looking. You sh- you just shattered the, the yeah, front glass. Yeah, broke a, broke it, yes. How big was the TV? I don't know, like 27, 30 something. I don't know. I did one time. I was really angry. It's the most damage I've ever done in anything. I got on top of a van that had the, uh, like a cargo van. And I just jumped up and down on it a lot and put dents in the hood. Who's, who's, that was the most damage I've ever done. Who's cargo van? I don't want to get into it because I was in a lot of trouble. Oh. But uh, I damaged the fuck out of a cargo van. Uh, you feel good about it? The, Wind? Uh, Tiger when I was blood? Doing it, can, okay, I will walk you through the feelings. Prior to doing it, you're very angry. While doing it, it is like a full on, it's like a drug. It feels really good in the middle of the, in the middle of the outburst. It feels really refreshing, really good. Then about 20 minutes after you're done with the, uh, uh, f- good feeling and you're in the middle of the outburst, outburst is over. You've done your damage. Then you look at what you've done and you go, Oh God, why did I do that? Oh fuck. Why did I? Oh shit. I'm a, I'm an awful person. That's about that's afterwards. In the midst of it, though, I will admit it feels good as shit. You don't think so? Like the no. middle of an out, like the middle section of an outburst I, doesn't I think, feel I good. Th- I don't think we have the same kind of outbursts. Because you you don't have verbal outbursts. Well, I don't. Because I don't when what... I'm having a verbal outburst, it feels really good. Where I'm going, fuck this shit and fuck you and you fucking all the bad words that you say to people. You know, you point at somebody, you say bad words to them, and Say awful little mean yeah. things. No, nope, don't feel good. Not in the middle of it. No, I'm not talking about afterwards. No, it feels none of bad. It, none afterwards. Of it feels good. No, it, it feels like I'm dying. It's not like a drug. So why do you have? Uh, how do you have anger issues it's, if it's, it's pure, not a drug? It's pure rage. I explode and break shit and throw. I, I can't control it. See red, murder, death, kill, death, kill, everything. everything What'll put you over the top? What's the thing that puts you over the top? I don't know. There, it's not a thing. Because usually there's something like for me, it is if someone uh, like picks a little fight with me, but they just want to have like a little art, like, a, oh, we're going to just have this little, I'm going to make a little comment. We're going to have a little argument, but I'm not going to finish it. I.e., they want to start something, but then they want to let it go. Okay. And I go, fuck it. Let's go. You want to start it? Let's go. I don't like to start shit at all. But if someone's like, oh, let's do this little, let me just say this little thing. And then they say that, like they think it's going to be like a little comment, like a little shitty comment. And I go, you want to see what level I'll go to? Because I will go there. And then I will take it to that level. Next thing you know, it's madness. It is madness. And I go, in my mind, because I'm sick, I go, I just won. Because I brought them to insanity. I made them, if I can make them meet my level of anger, then their little, eh, and they comment, my little eh, comment. Now is them enraged, like them coming at me, them, them wanting to beat me up, them physically. If they lose it physically because of my verbal attacks, I have one. It's like, a, it's like you want to see what level I'll take it to. That's the level. But you don't have a thing that'll flip your little, flip your little switch. You don't know anything like that. Not it's not one thing. It's not like oh, you, you better not say this, otherwise I freak out. No, you fucking you piss me off. I'm gonna pop, and it's I just I go into a fit of rage. But there's no recurring theme. No, because how are you gonna how are you gonna change having fits of rage if you don't identify don't, what it is that puts you over the top? Don't have fits of rage. Anytime you start feeling that way, leave. But doesn't it then bottle up, and then at some point become a a no. mega super fit of rage? No. Just don't let yourself pop. 
I don't. I'm not well, holding. What happened? I'm, I'm not over holding. Time, something happens. No, it's, it's not like I'm holding Does resentment. It become depression. No, it, it, it's, I don't hold it. Hold it against anything. It's just like how does you? How do you make it go away though? Because well, mine won't go away. Walk away until the fucking just combat. Fucking walk away. And it just dissipates. Yeah, just I don't give a shit. Walk away. I'm not going to get angry about this. Mm-hmm. That that number one. I don't know if it's honest or if it's denial or if it's just you're that fucking zen. Probably denial is what I'm thinking because like I can if I am enter a state of rage, it doesn't end until it uh, uh, eclipses somehow. Like uh, that rage is boiling. And then once I'm in a rage, there's no stopping it. It's a rage. Well, you got to stop yourself before it you're in a rage. Uncontrollable rage. Bef- before you get there, you have to. I never get stop mad it. at you anyone, can't... though. I never get mad at anyone. People get mad at me, and then I retaliate. Well, there, there, there. That's there's your, always my there's thing. your problem. Don't retaliate. Walk away. But then I'm angry already. Well, before, okay, then don't let yourself. So get I always angry. say, like, if Find you don't want me to get angry, you don't want me to have a fit of rage. Just don't start a fight with me. That's what I always say. Don't make a little. It's the snide remark. The little. Nah, 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 nah. People love passive aggressive. Do you think people love? I think people love passive aggressive. Oh, I'm, they a, do. I'm oblivious. Passive aggressive. I don't read it. You don't see passive aggressive if a comment's headed your way. Little passive Unless aggressive. Unless it's comment. a very blatant thing. Oh, I pick it up. I smell it like a bloodhound. And as soon as I smell it, I go, you're going to be passive aggressive. I'm going to be aggressive, aggressive. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. And then I'm going to make you aggressive, aggressive. And then I'm going to laugh at you because you've lost your mind. And I win. You don't get anything out of that. You don't have those things. You don't have those thoughts. Like I'll win this. I will fucking triumph. No, that's not the way I think though. Like if I let myself go, it's like, how do I hide the body? What do I do if I kill you? You think you could have that much of a rage at some point? Yeah. And that's when you broke your stove. Yeah, and rip shit and destroy was shit. It the and same, was it the same? Was it the same rage where you? Was it the same rage fit that you went through the TV and the uh, stove? No, two different. The same fit of rage. Two different things. But have you ever gone in like? Because I read a story the other day on the Drudge Report about a lady who went on a six-hour fit of rage where she destroyed her car. Like she ripped the seats and ripped the interior. She just kept going. What's the longest you've been in a fit of rage? I don't know. It, it's all a blur. I don't. I, don't, I can't tell you. Day well, you're in a hour. ballpark. You think know. you've gone? You think you've gone an hour before? I don't know. Thirty minutes. Yeah, I would say I'd say thirty minutes to an hour for me too. Because at some point I get I actually uh, get tired. Yeah, you get winded. You burn up all your energy. I get physically exhausted from my fit of rage. And then that tends to be after I'm physically exhausted. Yeah. That's but when you, I come. You can down. destroy a lot of shit in a couple minutes. Well, you can. Okay. I'm not. Yeah. I my. I. I'm not. What am I gonna. What am I gonna do? You know me. I'm. Let me. What am I gonna do? I can't destroy shit. I um can. Uh, that's why I have to use my mouth, because that is my little weapon. You have your fist. You have your fisticuffs. That is your weapon. Mine is my tongue. I have to use the tongue because if I were to punch something, I just hurt my hands. You know what I'm saying? Like I go, I like the guy that goes, I want to punch the wall. Then I punch the wall and I go, fuck that. that, I really didn't. That hurts. You you punch it enough times and it doesn't hurt anymore. You've been numb from pain before. I've broken my own pinky bone part, whatever that bone is in your hand. You broke your fucking pinky punching shit. Not the finger, but like the bone inside it connects to. Were you like a, was it like a stud in a wall or something like that? No, it was a concrete wall. Were you that day, that day, we won't name names, were you, were you there that day we went over to a friend's house and we're hanging out in a bedroom and we're telling jokes or something and the dad comes in Yeah, and yeah, I was we with say you. something pissed the dad off? No, we the were there. Dad we weren't supposed to be there. punches the fucking stud? Yeah. He punched a stud and like, oh, I broke my fucking hand. And then we all walked outside and then he apologized. Wasn't that creepy? I, I Wasn't think that a creepy day? I'm pretty sure he had a broken hand prior to that. But he, he just he, rebroke it. Well, I don't know. I, I don't hand? remember him punching a wall, but I remember him making a shake his hand, and he was like, "Oh, it's broken. Don't be careful." But I don't remember him punching yeah, a wall. He made a shake his hand that he punched the wall with, didn't he? I don't remember him punching a wall, but I thought he punched the wall. I think he just had a broken weird, hand. From right? a pr- it got weird, right? It got weird. Well, yeah, right? he, he showed weird? up and just 
was fucking furious that we were there. Not that we were doing anything. But yeah, we I were there. Punched a wall. They might have. I don't know. I think, but I think I'm, I think we're mixing our memories together because I think you remember half of it and I remember half of it. And I think what happened is he came in, got mad, punched the wall. We all go outside, freaked out. Then he comes outside and makes us shake his hand, which he had just punched the wall with. And then as we're shaking his hand, he gets all tender handed. That's uh, that's uh, uh, I just broke my hand. Yeah, and he punched the fucking wall. I don't think he punched the wall, but whatever. I would never, I would never punch a wall. It's just, it seems like to me, I've never punched a face. I don't, I, I would never want to punch. I, occasionally I think about what would it feel like to punch someone and I'll take my knuckles and I'll kind of put them up against my, uh, you ever do that where you take your knuckles, put them up against your cheek a little bit to, to feel what it would feel like if someone were to punch you in the cheek. You've you ever been, do that? You've been punched in the mouth. What are you talking about? I've been punched in the mouth? Several times. I've punched you in the I mouth. Don't... In the late night you boxing, you not punched me in yeah, the mouth. The late night boxing, oh, with boxing you... gloves on, boxing gloves oh. on. Well, you got, but it's different. Like I've never been bare knuckled fucking punched. I've well, been slapped. One guy bashed your head up against the ground one time. Yeah, with my neck though. He had me by the neck. He oh, was doing he, like a chokehold, lifting and throwing never me down. Threw a punch. Me down. Yeah, I never got a. I never caught a punch to the face. I just got chokeholded and slammed a lot of times. I mean, it's a perfect example for those that don't know. I've been in one uh, fight in my life. In which I let a guy kick my ass, and the whole time he's kicking my ass, I'm talking shit to him nonstop because he picks me up and he chokes, slams me, throws me to the ground, tells me to shut up. So I call him a bad word again. I say like, you know, you're fucking this, and then he picks me up, slams me again, picks me up, and I just keep talking and keep talking, and keep calling. Eventually, he gives up. They pull him off of me, and I stand up and I go, "You fucking done? You fucking finished?" That's how I win the fucking fights. I win fights verbally. I gotta win fights verbally. Because what am I gonna do? Well, what, was he gonna that's, punch him? That's not the same thing as being an asshole, though. Is, and that's where this kind of conversation started. Was I mean? Well, now we're just talking about anger issues. Yeah. Now, now that's a whole different thing. But it started with you pissing people off and picking like how you fight, and that's like you're starting fights by being the asshole in the original story. Well, no, I'm being a sore winner. Yeah, but you're I don't being think an asshole. a sore winner should ever start a fight. Well, that's because if I just point, if you lost and I'm pointing and laughing at you because you lost, it's not, I'm not starting. That's where everybody gets mad at me. They say, well, you started it. I say, no, I didn't get angry. I was laughing. You know, you got angry. No, you're being an asshole. I don't care what it is. If you're a winner or a loser or whatever, if you're just being an asshole, you're going to stir stir up problems. But but who got angry? Doesn't matter. That's what I would say. If if you're being an asshole, you're going to piss people off. But I would always argue that no, who that got angry? Who got get angry? Off. Doesn't matter. You're being the asshole. You're the one in the wrong. No. Yes. Because anger is the incorrect emotion. Being an asshole to people is, is the, the wrong way to be a person. That's just being funny. No. You know being, what I'm saying? Being like, an outright being asshole funny. is not being funny. It's being hilarious. If you're laughing, you know that's a, why. Here, why not take the? This is what I would say to people who get angry. Take the high road. You got a problem with what I'm saying? Take the high road. Be a, if you don't like me being a sore winner, you should be a magnanimous loser. And you should go, you're right. You did win. You are better than me. You have bested me. You didn't do I anything. Go, I did best you. You took a, a one risk. You took a I one in four chance. Of risk. You didn't do anything though. You literally I just won risk. You fucking risk won. is a difficult game. Risk is not a fucking easy I'd game. Won, to okay, win. What are we fucking talking? I thought we were talking about the fucking election. We are. Well, I'm talking made, about the times you, I've won no, in my no, life. Okay, so you made a one in four guess. You, you picked the right door, and what? Like and everyone else sucks. Anyone else who picked the other one was because the they guessed wrong. Yeah. So fuck them. No, and no, it's not even the people who's, it's the ones who are going, oh, I'm so, this is, oh, this is well, awful. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the, that's different though. This You're, is, I need take a the middle safe road space. And just say, assholes are assholes. And these people are also assholes. Fuck all these but insane people that are being assholes. It's fun to kind of be, it's kind of fun to be an asshole. But when you do it, you know what I'm saying? Like when you do it, it's okay. When somebody else is an asshole, they are wholly wrong. If they are starting a fight with me, yes. No, I'm just. It, that's the problem. 
you're picking a fight by being an asshole to other people, but it's their problem for getting angry. But if somebody's being an asshole Correct. to you and you get angry, it's the asshole's fault. Correct. You're figuring it out, bro. This isn't you're a fucking, it out. this isn't a thing. You're a crazy person. That is a thing. That's not a crazy person. It's called, you know, fucking being an asshole. 